In previous lecture, I already discussed how we can translate mathematical statement into logical expression using nested quantifier and how we can translate nested quantifier to English sentence. In today's lecture, I will discuss how we can translate English sentence into logical expression using nested quantifier. Let's see example 10. Express the statement if a person is female and is a parent then this person is someone mother as a logical expression involving predicates quantifier with a domain consisting of all people and logical connectives so first we need to rewrite it we can rewrite as for every person x if person x is a female and person x is a parent then there exists a person y such that x is mother of y let f of x be x is a female, p of x is x is a parent and m of x y is x is mother of y. Then we can write as for all x if x is a female and x is a parent then there exists some y such that x is mother of y. So for all x f of x and p of x x is a female and x is a parent there exists some y such that m of x y so x is mother of y we can take this there exist y into left we can write after for all x as this f of x and p of x doesn't include y so that's why we can write there exist y before so for all x there exist y f of x and p of x implies m of x y if x is female and x is a parent then there is some y so that x is mother of y both are correct you can write that exist y before m of x y or at the beginning let's say another example example 11 express the statement everyone has exactly one best friend as a logical expression involving predicates quantifier with domain consisting of all people and logical connectives first we need to rewrite it we can write for every person x person x has exactly one best friend so how will express this we can consider another y that y is person x best friend and there is some z z is not equals to y then that z is not best friend of x this person x has exactly one best friend that we can write as there is a person y who is best friend of x and there is a person z if person z is not person y means z and y are different then z is not the best friend of x let predicate b of x y is for y is the best friend of x so this statement everyone has exactly one best friend can be expressed as for all x for every person x there exists a y b of x y means y is the best friend of x and there is some z z is not equals to y so you can write for all z z not equals to y implies negation of b of x z means x is not best friend of z so x is best friend of y if there is some other z z is not equals to y then x is not best friend of z so this thing you can also express by using uniqueness quantifier uniqueness quantifier is like this there exist and there will be an exclamatory mark so that means just one so you can write for all x then there exists one y such that b of x y just to identify one person we included z so if you are using uniqueness quantifier you don't need to include the z we can write for all x there exists one y b of x y so for every person x there is one person y such that y is best friend of x I already discussed uniqueness quantifier just go through the previous lecture next example 12 use quantifier to express the statement 
there is a woman who has taken a flight on every airline in the world so let p of w f b w has taken f then q of f a b f is a flight on a so we can express this statement as there exists w w for women there is a woman for all a means for all airline there exist flight so there exist w for all a there exist f p of w f and q of f a where domain for w is all the women in the world and domain for f is all airline flight and domain for a is all airline respectively we can also merge these two so we can write there exist w for all a there exist f r of w f a so here r of w f a means w has taken f on a so w has taken this flight on some airline a here we consider two predicate one for p one for q p w f means w has taken f and q f a means f is a flight on a so we can merge these two predicate let r of w f a means w has taken flight f on airline a next i will discuss how we can add negation to nested quantifier i already discussed how we can add negation to quantifier in case of negation universal will change to existential quantifier and existential will change to universal quantifier just go through previous lecture now i will discuss how we can add negation to nested quantifier Example 13 express the negation of the statement for all x there exist y x multiplication y equals to 1 so that no negation precedes a quantifier. We will add negation before this. So negation of for all x there exist y x y equals to 1. We can take this negation inside. So this universal quantifier will change to existential there exist x the negation there exist y x y equals to 1 again we can take this negation inside so there exist x then this existential quantifier will change to universal quantifier so for all y negation of x y equals to 1 this negation of x y equals to 1 that we can write as x y not equals to so in place of this we can write x y not equals to 1 now there exist x for all y x y not equals to 1 is negation of this so this universal change to existential here this existential change to universal and equals to symbol will change to not equals to next example 14 is quantify to express the statement that there doesn't exist a woman who has taken a flight on every airline in the world. This is just opposite of example 12. For example 12 we already found. This is the expression. Now we will add negation before this. So negation of there exist W. For all Y there exist F. Then P of W F and Q of F A. So this negation symbol will take inside. Now this existence of quantifier will change to universal. So for all W, the negation symbol will come before for all A and rest are same. Now this universal quantifier will change to existential. Now again this negation symbol will go inside. So this existence of quantifier will change to universal. A negation will be before P of W F and Q of F A. Now we will apply the De Morgan law. So it will be for all W there exist A for all F. Negation of P of W F or and will change to or a negation of Q of F A. Now just mark this existence of quantifier change to universal. Then universal change to existential next existential change to inversion and here this p and q that change to negation p or negation q by the de morgan law 
this statement we can write in English as for every woman there is a airline such that all flight this woman has not taken a flight your negation of PWF means this woman has not taken a flight or that flight is not in this airline so either the woman has not taken the flight or in which flight she has taken that is not in this airline with this i am finishing nested quantifier when one quantifier is within the scope of another it's called as nested quantifier i also discussed how you can translate mathematical statement or english statement using nested quantifier and how can translate nested quantifier to english statement how can add negation to nested quantifier in next lecture i will discuss rule of inference if today lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you bye bye